वेलवेट हाई कट ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ लो पास फिल्टर पास बैंड गेन ऑफ लो पास फिल्टर एंड विल प्लॉट द फ्रिक्वेंसी रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ लो पास फिल्टर इक्विपमेंट्स रिक्वायर्ड आर वी नीड अ लो पास फिल्टर फॉर दिस पर्पज वी हैव अ किट अवेलेबल विद अस इन आवर लैब वी नीड अ डिजिटल स्टोरेज असिलोस्कोप in order to observe various waveforms at input and output and we need a function generator to provide input as per our required and um, multimeter is required for taking measurements of resistance or for measurement of voltage and current as per the requirement of the experiment so we have a fun function generator sun pulse generator with 40 megahertz frequency counter here we have a white knob that is that is used to control the range of input frequency frequency generated by this function generator red knob to to control the amplitude of the output of this uh, pulse generator here yellow knob is for changing uh, type of wave sine wave triangular wave or pulse wave the orange one is for control of uh, modulation of or in order to get frequency modulator d you can control the duty cycle of the generator waveform on this knob frequency can be changed very uh, with this knob and amplitude of the output uh, generated from this Uh, function generator can be controlled by this knob. So we have taken output from this, and let us set this value uh, at 500 hertz sine wave and peak to peak voltage as two volts. So we have already selected this as uh, sine wave. Here you can see that after pressing this, you can change. the waveforms and you can observe the output at the uh, see uh, oscilloscope that we are getting um, this triangular wave and this ramp wave pulse ttl and sine wave we need sine wave for uh, our experiment so we have considered sine wave now we have connected this output of pulse generator to the channel number 1 of our dso and we can observe that we are getting a peak to peak voltage of 2 volt at the output of the pulse unit and the frequency is set at uh, approximately 500 hertz so this is our input in this kit we have a low pass filter circuitry here in this we are using an operational amplifier us741 it needs a plus 12 volt power supply and negative uh, 12 volt power supply so in order to provide the supply we have already uh, inbuilt power supply with this kit we connect this plus volt uh, terminal of the power supply with plus 12 volt of this operational amplifier and negative 12 volt power supply is connected with minus 12 volt terminal of the operational amplifier now we need to connect this input coming from our function generator to v in of low pass filter and ground point is connected over here now in order to measure output we need second channel and that has to be connected and the output terminal so the red one will be connected and the output v out and this common ground point will be connected here and we can uh, connect with these two common ground points also so this is the uh, entire connection now you can observe that we are getting output at channel number 2 in the, which is on green waveform you can see 
that need to be voltage at channel number 2 is around 4 volts which is just double of the input voltage and this is because of the gain provided by this low pass filter and the gain can be controlled by the feedback register which is being controlled by potentiometer now we will measure this resistance value with the help of a multimeter we can vary this resistance with the help of this knob actually this is a potentiometer at this particular moment the value of this resistance is 1.59 ohms kilo ohms so uh, theoretically if we calculate the higher cutoff frequency of this low pass filter it can be calculated by 1.2 by rc where r is taken as 1.59 kilo ohms and c as 0 0.01 microfarads so after calculation we get this cutoff frequency equal to 10 kilohertz so now we are operating at around 475 hertz so we will record this 475 hertz input voltage peak to peak is 2.09 2.09 volts and corresponding output is 4.18 4.18 volts so gain will be equal to 2 that is given by v out by e, v in and gain in db is equal to 20 lakh v out by v in which is 6.02 db now to take another reading we will vary the input frequency at the help of this knob suppose we are taking our reading at 4.7 kilohertz that it means 4700 and input voltage peak to peak at this position at this position is 2.17 volts 2.17 volts and output is 3.82 3.82 so gain is equal to this much and db value is equal to 4.90 similarly in next step we will change input frequency uh, we will take this frequency nearby 10 kilohertz so that we can observe this is 10 kilohertz frequency so approximately 10 kilohertz Ten kilohertz frequency. You can observe the things from uh, oscilloscope. We are getting this ten kilohertz frequency at input side, uh, which is also uh, being displayed over here. The voltage at the input is two point zero one volts at frequency. 9.92 kilohertz means 99200 9200 input is 2.01 and output is 2.97 2.97 so again is this much 1.4 and gain in db is equal to 3.39 we take another reading 
I will change this input frequency in megahertz. So at 100 kilohertz. We have 100 kilohertz. The input voltage is 2.05. Output voltage is 880 millivolts. Means 0.880. And gain in dB will be like this. Now we will take another reading by increasing the frequency. Now we have taken one megahertz, we have taken it one megahertz, and input voltage. At this particular time is 2.20, 2.21 volts, and output is 600 millivolts, 0.6, and gain is 0.27, and gain in dB is minus 11.6. Output is output at this particular time is input is 3.34 3.34 volts and output is 80 millivolts so this is 0 0.08 and gain is this we are getting this kind of so after plotting the gain versus frequency plot in logarithmic scale we have this kind of characteristic which is similar to the characteristic of low pass filter you see the experiment can be <coughs> done for various value, values of feedback resistors the feedback these resistors r1 and rf can be varied in order to get different values of gain because gain is being controlled by these resistors RF and R1 so we, you can get different set of values of output or different set of inputs so in this way we have performed low pass filter characterization using 